I built this literally because it doesn't exist. I wanted people to walk up to this and be like, oh my gosh, it looks so tough, it's just awesome. And then walk inside and be like, oh my gosh, I'm home. It doesn't look like something that's sterile, it's something that's very warm and inviting. Uh, I'm Reed with uh, Wolf Regs, this is my company. I built a uh, Overland vehicle on a uh, Humvee chassis. Just come inside and check it out. So this is the inside of the rig, and uh, it's really designed to be very open. The kitchen is laid out to where you have both sides. You have the sink over here and prep area. You also have prep area over here and some over here, but with a, a two burner stove. So over here, you have storage for clothes and your bags. And down below, there's, there's uh, this is a false bottom. It goes all the way down, you have more storage down below. So you have more storage in here. As a trash can holder, this will be for like uh, pots and pans and all of your cutlery and, and uh, dishes. Right here is your fridge. So the, we actually have two fridges. So one's a freezer and one you're using as a fridge. So you can, you can do either way. And we have it on uh, two locking double hinges so that way it doesn't come out when you're doing your crazy four wheeling. But uh, the shower, it's nice and big. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a small guy, right? So there'll be a door down here and the toilet just pops right out. You can do your thing, push this button here and it flushes the toilet. Now, one of the designs that we have has the shower up front and I actually moved it back to the back for mine uh, simply because I liked it to be you know, nice and open. Um, oh, so I'm, I'm putting my hand on the tile. One thing about the tile, it's a very light uh, ceramic tile. And uh, when you hold one of these in your hand, it feels just like air. So the whole shower itself is actually lighter. Someone wanted me to do a stainless steel tub. And it's actually lighter than that would have been. So the whole shower only weighs 187 pounds. I literally designed this to be able to do uh, uh, Hell's Revenge in Moab. So it was just crazy steeps up and down sideways. And uh, so it looks like it's heavy, but it's really not. It's all aluminum construction. Um, but the interior, you have uh, upper... Uh, 110 outlets. I designed that up there really to be able to add upper cabinets if you want to. So if you ever wanted to put upper cabinets up, it'll allow for that. There's a structure back behind here to attach them to. And uh, so all the shades, these are all the Overland uh, turn uh, shades. So you have the full blackout, you got the shade. You can also open it up and open and close your window. So we also have more power and uh, you have uh, your USB power there too, as well. We have that doubled up over here, over here. The switches, which I'll show you here, they are a uh, Apollo spacecraft uh, switch. So it looks like an Apollo spacecraft switch and it's really cool, it's a company out in uh, Florida that makes them, called Concord. So the power system we have on here, uh, we have 800 watts of solar on the ceiling. And, or on the roof, I should say. And then down below, we have five 100 amp hour batteries or Battleborn batteries. Uh, and uh, we use uh, all Victron equipment. Some people say that for the rig that I have is a little overkill, so it will always work. So I started looking at RVs and the products that most RV companies make out there, especially the affordable ones, they're just garbage and they're, they're not made to last at all. Matter of fact, the RVIA standard is 47 uses, that's it. At that point, I got real discouraged real quick and I decided that uh, I wanted to build something better. So uh, I looked at uh, schoolies. I actually uh, was telling my wife that, uh, hey, I'm gonna buy a bus, I'm gonna convert it to a, a motor home and we're gonna tour the country with our boat. And she looks at me dead in the eye, she goes, I'm, I'm not living on an effing bus. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time she didn't think you see how cool it was and so we had a major fight we were you know gonna get divorced and all this stuff went to bed mad she comes back the next morning i'm in the shower uh, she comes back from working out she goes okay i'm in i'm like what happened last night we we're getting divorced she goes well i know what you can build and if you can build me this she started showing me pinterest p photos that her friends had pulled up for her she goes you can build me this i'm in she starts showing me videos and we come across a video of Jax Austin building a bus in Denver, Colorado. And next thing I know, he's in Denver. Well, I live in Denver and I said, hey, this is the universe telling us we have to do this. She goes, I agree. So I went and met Jax, we became pretty good friends and uh, I built him a uh, shower in his bus. That was my first shower in a bus and uh, you know, learned a few things. And next thing I know, I'm, I'm 
buying my own bus and building a schoolie. This is uh, kind of your living space. Uh, so up here is a queen size bed, and uh, it, which is really nice that the Humvee is, is uh, wide enough to where you can actually have a queen size bed where you can have your, your head on either side. We have a, a light switch right here that turns the lights on and off right there. And actually we'll have a dimmer on, on the, my future models. And uh, so you also have reading lights. So those are nice. They also come with a USB uh, charger. You'll notice that I have the skylight up front and the two windows up front. Again, uh, useful and utilitarian. So, you know, you feel like you, know, you walk in here, you almost feel like you're in a home, which is really the, the design and the, the purpose of doing all of these things that way was to make it really feel like a home. So if you notice the ceiling, um, that's actually uh, designed to look like teak because we have the teak doors that go in front of uh, all the cabinet faces as well as the toilet. Um, so you, you have that, that nice warm feel and then you have the shiplap on the side. It doesn't look like something that's sterile. It's something that's very warm and inviting and it's, it's done on purpose that way for that reason. This right here is, is the bench. So if you're sitting here and you have someone else sitting with you, uh, the lagoon table will actually mount right here and it'll actually have two different wings. Uh, in future models, there's another person that has asked for an extension off of this, which will pop up and allow you to use this as a bed. So on my way home, I stopped in Moab and I'm looking at this, the 4x4 Sprinter vans in Moab and none of them can go anywhere that I wanted to go. They can't go up a trail. Uh, they, they can go up a dirt road pretty good, but as soon as you introduce a rock or some kind of approach angle that is over, you know, a foot tall, it, they can't do it. My bus had a better ground clearance than their uh, than the Sprinter vans. So discouraged for about five, 10 seconds, like I was talking to my, my buddy Jax again, he goes, why don't you build something in a Humvee chassis? I was like, that's an awesome idea. I can make it look like an aimless version, but remembering from my military days, how small they were, I said, I have to redesign it. So got back to, to the shop, uh, started looking at different pictures and drew up a different uh, ideas just on, uh, uh, actually literally in Microsoft Paint. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next thing you know, I, we started getting CAD designs and putting it together and here we are. So a year and a half ago, this was just a, a dream in my head of what I wanted to do. And uh, now it's, uh, it's, it's here, it's, it's, it's the patent. So this vehicle itself really drew a lot of advice from full-time nomads. RVs are not designed to be full-time domiciles, they're just not. The more you use them, the more problematic they get. And for what this can do and the materials used, you can hand this thing down to your grandkids and feel perfectly safe about it. You're gonna be replacing an engine before you replace anything on the inside. So we use all marine grade products. I uh, use all uh, systems that have been tried and true. And uh, if they do fall over, they're easy to swap out. So everything about this rig one, like when you came inside to do the interview, I said, you're not gonna hurt anything in here. You know, you're not gonna hurt the countertops. You're not gonna hurt the shower. You're not gonna hurt the floors. You know, the staircase is, is, is enough where, you know, you can be 500 pounds and they walk up it just fine. I've built it well for, on, for a reason and on purpose. So uh, the exterior, I wanted it to be something where it, it instills the, the awe and inspiration that the Humvee always did. When I built it, I wanted it to be something that was really tough. It's eighth inch plate aluminum all the way around. You can hit a tree, you can hit a rock, you can do whatever you want to this thing. It's, it's gonna bounce off of it. You might get a little scrape on the paint, but maybe not. So the paint actually is uh, it's Raptor liner. And we used uh, the, the high end nozzle to get kind of a sheen to it. So it's, it, again, it's just bomb proof. And uh, I wanted people to walk up to this and be like, oh my gosh, it looks so tough. That's just awesome. And then walk inside and be like, oh my gosh, I'm home. Uh, this over here is basically just uh, modular storage. Just got this uh, shovel today. Uh, you have a light switch here for your lights up top. So when you're on I-70 in the middle of the night and there's no uh, moon out and it's pitch black and you need to see something in here, it actually lights the whole thing up. The, the back lights, 
Um, they're actually uh, aluminum with an epoxy fill. So it, it does all of your lights for your turn signals, your brakes, everything. So the propane runs the stove and the uh, hot water inside. This tire, it's actually uh, mounted on a system where the, the uh, Sherpa winch has a in and out right here. You undo the top bolt and it literally comes out, folds down uh, to a level with the ground. And then at that point, you take this bolt out and it lowers the entire wheel down to the ground. Thank you so much, Tiny Home Tours, for, for stopping me and saying, asking if I wanted a tour of the vehicle. Is, um, it, this has been a passion project for the past year and a half. Uh, it's something that is not available on the market. I built this literally because it doesn't exist. At Wolf Riggs, uh, we're building them now. Uh, we are in production mode. Uh, I'd love to build you one. So you can find us on uh, Instagram and Facebook and uh, TikTok. We have a YouTube channel. I think I've got eight followers. <laughs> There'll be more stuff on there coming soon, but uh, Instagram probably is the one place where uh, it's Wolf Riggs USA. Well, uh, whether you're out in the road or you're in Denver, uh, stop by the shop anytime. We're right there in Inglewood or on Santa Fe. We're hard to miss. Uh, if you need some help uh, building something, don't hesitate to call me and ask for some advice. Would love to give it.